Synthesis of Acetosalicylic Acid, Purity Tests. This week, you will be introduced to Thin Layer Chromatography, TLC, and Melting Point Determination. The first purity test we will be doing is TLC, which stands for Thin Layer Chromatography. It works on the principle of using a stationary phase and a mobile phase to separate a mixture. It separates this mixture into components based on polarity. The stationary phase is a strong polar coating on a plastic or aluminum support, usually a silica gel or alumina mixed with a binder. The mobile phase is a mixture of solvents that most easily dissolve either the less polar or nonpolar components of the mixture. In this case, 50-55 mix of ethyl acetate, hexane, and glacial acetic acid respectively. We will be preparing three different samples to run on the TLC plate. In the first test tube, put 12 to 15 milligrams of salicylic acid. In the second test tube, put 12 to 15 milligrams of ASA. And in the third test tube, put 60 to 80 milligrams of your sample that you made last week. Then, add half a mil of methanol to test tubes one and two, and one mil of methanol to test tube three and mix well. Next you'll prepare your TLC plate. Handle the plate gently and try to touch it at the edges only. To start, with a pencil, lightly draw a line approximately one centimeter from the bottom of the plate. Then, lightly mark four evenly spaced dots on the line and label them. To get your sample onto the plate, Dip a microcapillary tube into one of the prepared solutions, then gently touch the end onto a marked spot on the plate. Repeat with fresh capillaries for the other solutions. When the spots are dry, you can place the plate in the developing solution. Once in the solution, the solvent front will move slowly up the plate. much slower than is shown. Once the solvent front is within one centimeter of the top of the plate, remove it from the solution. Trace the solvent front with a pencil immediately after removing the plate from the solution. Then allow the plate to completely dry in the fume hood. Once the plate is dry, place it under the UV light lamp. Outline the dark spots that appear on the plate with a pencil. To analyze the TLC plate, we will be doing RF calculations. To do this, we must know the distance moved by the solvent front, as well as the distance is moved by each of the spots. RF is the distance moved by the spot divided by the distance moved by the solvent front. For example, if we wanted to calculate the RF value for the SA, we would take the distance moved by the spot 33.8 millimeters and divide it by the distance moved by the solvent front, in this case 65.2 millimeters, giving us an RF value for SA of 0.518. Calculate the RF value for each spot and then compare. If the year unknown has more than one spot, then it has more than one component present. Another way to test purity is through melting point determinations. Pure crystalline solids have a clear, sharply defined melting point. Experimentally determined melting points can be compared to a literature melting point. The experimental melting point of a substance is recorded as a range. To get this range, record the temperature when you see the first drop of liquid, and record the temperature again when your entire sample has turned to liquid. An example range would be 109.3 to 112.8 degrees Celsius. Look up the literature value melting point for ASA. If your experimental melting point is a wide range and lower than literature, then your product is impure. Have fun!